This is our next lesson on theories of prime and deviants. This is a recap of the previous video on Durkheim and functional lists before we carry on. So check your understanding of the previous lesson and answer these five questions. Okay. So this actual lesson is on Merton, Robert K. Merton, Robert King Merton, and strain theory. <coughs> um, uh, irreconcilable, two things can't be reconciled, they can't be made to agree, they're irreconcilable. Success criteria, how you measure success is the criteria. Again, in these words here, you'll understand as we go through the lesson. So, Merton is a function, it was a functionalist. A functionalist believes society has structures. Yeah? That functionalist is that clockwork thing is a structure. It's an organic structure, it's, made, it's not being made in a factory, but it's a structure. And everyone's got to find their place in the structure and do what they need to do to make the structure work. So anomie is when that doesn't happen. Anomie is when your cult, part of your culture disagree and leads you to not knowing what to do. Not to be certain of the right way to behave because you're, there's no guidance in your head. The culture's failed you. You're suffering from an or me. Because maybe the two parts of things that you've both, two things that you've learned contradict each other. Yeah? So, Merton noticed. Crime rates in the United States, where he's from, were much higher than other similar Western countries. So here's the US murder rate. Here's the murder rates for Australia, Canada, Spain, Britain, and Holland. And they're way lower. And Merton wanted to answer the question, how come American crime rates, murder rates, are so much higher than other similar countries? The thing he noticed, the thing he broke start off with, is look, America's different to these countries. It's called, in the sense of uh, a, 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 a culture thing called the American dream. Everybody believes, everybody is taught that they can make it. They can become successful. They can be rich, have a nice house and a nice car. He said in other countries like this, people don't believe that as much. But in America, they genuinely believe it is possible for anyone to make it. And that leads to what he called strain. You believe in your core that you can make it. But some people just can't. It may not be their, their fault, they may be living in great poverty, but their culture's telling them they should be able to make it, but they're not able to make it, and that causes strain within their head, strain within the culture. And that is anomie. That's a version of anomie. You must have money to be successful. And some groups can't get it and can't figure out why they can't get it. That's anomie. Now, Merton said people react to this anomie in five different ways. Some just conform. They just put their blinkers on and do what they're told to do and agree with it conformity. Some fall into what he called ritualism. They do follow the rules, but with no great enthusiasm. Hello, how can I help you today? The shop worker. Ritualism. They go through the rituals without really believing in it. Thirdly, and most importantly for crime, he called it innovation. Now, if you have a culture, a capitalist culture, that says you must have money to be successful, and some groups of the working class can't get it, some people will find other ways to get it. They will innovate. They will commit complicated crimes, drug dealing, to become rich and therefore be successful. They've solved their anomie problem by committing crime. Others retreat. They say, I can't have this, I don't like it, it's making me miserable, I'll find some way to cope with it. Drug abuse. Becoming some cosplaying um, comic book person. Yeah. 
you're retreating from the main culture and you're focusing on something else to take your mind off your misery. And finally, Merton said, rebellion. Some people rebel, they fight back, they may get involved in extreme politics, terrorism, revolutionaries. Now, Marxists are not entirely convinced by this. Marxists say, look, Merton, and all you functionalists, you're focusing on the crimes that the working class commit to get ahead, to make it in a capitalist society. You are completely ignoring the crimes the middle class commit. They're not suffering from strain, they're not suffering from enemy, and yet they still commit the crime. Like, and you're forgetting it, you're just concentrating on working class crime and ignoring middle class crime. 